Hi everyone, my name is Harlan and I'm a member of the Carlson Raiders. We are a uh, local airsoft group based out of the Bay Area. We're starting this YouTube channel so we can post some videos of uh, us playing, uh, of our loadouts, reviews for weapons, uh, where we do a lot of different stuff. So if you've stumbled upon our channel, you've been um, recommended by someone else, I hope you stick around and see that the best is yet to come. And we're going to keep trying to pump out a fair bit of um, videos and content for you guys to enjoy. We're going to try and make everything the best quality we can. I'm sorry right now, of course, uh, this video is not not very high definition. It's probably pretty pretty bad. Unfortunately, I'm having to do this on a handheld PhotoSmart M537 something. You know, it's one of those little six megapixel cameras. Um, so it's not great, but I just wanted to put this here because we haven't put up a whole bunch of videos on our channel. So I wanted to explain this to you so that you can understand and hopefully subscribe so you can see some of the stuff that we do put out later. Um, so today, I just wanted to explain uh, what we are, the Carlson Raiders, we're an airsoft group, like I said, that are in the Bay Area. But we are high schoolers, mostly, that are trying to really get into the sport and become a bigger part of the community in the Bay Area. We've done some stuff on it with airsoft forums. We're doing this with YouTube, and we have some Facebook groups and stuff like that. Uh, right now, we have a team of about 12 members, uh, a little bit more. Um, it kind of depends. We have, you know, members that aren't really part of the team. They come and play with us, but they're not a big part of our group. Um, we mostly play uh, backyard games right now, but we're very interested in becoming a bigger part of the community and doing more things like CQB City or Taxi, stuff like that. Um, well, not Taxi, it's too far away, but you know, more CQB places in different fields. So the other thing I'd like to do today is to not have wasted your time just explaining this, is also do something that you, know, you might be interested in. So today, I'm going to be doing a review of this gun. Sorry for all this, this is just some construction and stuff that's going on in my house. Okay, so this is a UTG tri shot or multi shot shotgun. This is the case I want to show you guys. So you've got, you know, nice, nice solid case. It's cardboard, but it's nice. It's got a shine to it. Everything is nice. There's no chinglish, particularly. Um, this is the one that takes a single shell, and here I'll show you that. Um, I'm going to put this here. Open it up. I'll let you guys look inside. The gun's pretty long comes with a speed loader, sling, which I would not use, and there's supposed to be a shell right here, but I think it's in the gun. Uh, it's nice packaging. It's got a good fit to it. Everything about it is nice. It's all ABS plastic, but it's solid. I'm someone who uh, requires my guns to be durable, and I have not been let down by this shotgun. I'm going to move this box real quick. and. Uh, Sticks in the camera somewhere, so hopefully you guys will be able to see me a little better. Uh, up, guys? So I'm hoping this will be in focus. This is a shotgun. I have the full stock version, the pistol grip. Um, this is the basically this is how the loading mechanism works. There's a small button next to uh, on the right hand side above the trigger guard that releases this. And then you just pull the shell out. Each one of these shells, you can put 30 down into the chamber of this uh, shell, which is the magazine for the gun. You put it in like this, you close the trap, and then you cock it. Now inside of this main outer barrel, there's three internal barrels each. Let's shoot one BB at a time. Let's say you get your try shot. So you pump, shoot, pump, and you have 10 shots, each shooting three BBs. After that, you drop this out, put another one in, and you're good to go again. Um, I've dropped this numerous times because I just had different stuff happen. I've got some scratches and different things, but it's pretty much one of the tougher spring guns I've seen, and performance-wise, it's pretty good. It shoots about 300 to 290 to 300. I wouldn't recommend .12s, even though they shoot at a higher velocity because they're really spread out. Point twenty is are great, and even point two fives are good. Um, Sights are simple. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just two posts, or just a post sight. Um, don't really need them. I'm about six foot two, and the gun itself is just perfect for me. So if you're a bigger guy, these are pretty nice. If you're smaller, I'd probably get the non um, full stock one and just go with a pistol grip, just because it's a little more practical if you're a smaller guy. 
The gun's great. Uh, the only thing that happened was I have dropped it in this part right here, popped up, and literally I went like this and smacked it with my hand and it was back in place. And it's just been great. Um, these are nice rubberized and they feel nice to the touch. They're pretty tough. The whole thing is pretty tough generally. Uh, it has a hop-up system. I don't really mess with it too much. It's pretty much just on or off. Safety is down here by the trigger and trigger guard. Simple enough. Trigger is nice. Um, simple. It's really, you know. One of the best features about this actually is that it doesn't allow you to cock twice. You don't have to worry about jamming. Can't pull it back again until you fire. It's perfect. Especially actually if you're a beginner because this is a decent gun you can use for CQB. And it is probably one of the more forgiving guns. If you drop it, you know. The worst thing that just happened was my pump went back. And uh, this fell out. That's it. And that was me throwing it at the ground. It's still fine. No problems. But stock is dirty. Other than that, nothing wrong with it. Um, great gun. And uh, if you like this review, I'm going to be doing a lot more. One of the things you'll see from my reviews that you might not see from other people's reviews is I'm really demanding of the externals, especially of the gun. Performance-wise, I need it to at least be, you know, mid-level uh, for me to enjoy it. Well, not for me to enjoy it, but for me to get the performance I seek out of it. But externals need to be tough because I do a lot of stuff. I do um, pretty active player. I do, you know, sliding. Sometimes I've even done, um, I guess, dove. Uh, you know, roll down hills and keep shooting, all kinds of stuff like that. Just because that's the way I play, I get really, you know, into it. And um, this gun's been able to keep up with me, which is good. I've had other guns that didn't, but this one is surprisingly good. I think this is about seventy dollars you buy it online, and you get um, some place will give you two shells, which is great because these only hold ten shots. Basically, they have thirty BBs in them, but you can only shoot ten times. Um, yeah, great gun. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more reviews, finding out more about us, uh, seeing some gameplay, just stick with this channel, subscribe, and we'll be pumping out some more um, better quality, of course, content for you guys to enjoy. So uh, thanks for coming to our channel, and I hope you're really interested. Oh, and uh, I'm not one of those guys that doesn't like to have a space on the Internet. I was just trying to show you guys my loadout. So I'm Harlan, and thanks for taking out the Carlson Raiders.